Hello, y'all. Um, right now, I am in my living room, and um, I was watching. Uh, well, not watching. I was trying to play my Xbox One um, because I never play it. Um, when I when I originally got it, it was a birthday gift from my then brother-in-law, and. Um, I told him that, I mean, I already have a PS4, and I didn't really want to get an Xbox One because I'm just not interested in getting an Xbox or playing Xbox One. I mean, they have certain games that I want. Like right now, um, I want um, the new Gears of War game that's going to come out for the Xbox One. But I was like, an Xbox One was something that I just would not buy on my own and people are always like I'm a really difficult person to get gifts for which I'm not because I'm very appreciative of anything that I get um but uh yeah I told him that you know I wanted the Xbox one but it will predominantly be utilized by my mom instead of me because I want it so that way she can um watch movies off of my hard drive my external hard drive that I deployed with because I have a hard drive um, with like hundreds of movies on it for my deployment that I wanted her to be able to watch because she likes a lot of the movies that I have um, and at the time the Xbox was able to play um, media from hard drives and the PS4 wasn't but now the PS4 can do that too but um, yeah I told him that that was the main reason as to why I wanted it and he must have thought that I was lying um, and I was just saying that because I wanted the Xbox One, but I was not lying. Um, but I just thought of while I was waiting for it to update because I have not played it in all of 2016. So it had to update, which is another reason why I don't, I don't like the X because it takes forever to fucking update. But um, while I was waiting for it to update, I just thought about the fact that I never made a video about my TV. Um that I have in my living room because uh, a lot of people have been asking me about my TV that I work with. I work at an IT company and a lot of people are saying that they want, um, you know, curved TVs, but they don't know if it's worth it. And um, this is my TV. If you guys <sighs> never seen it before, um, that's my TV. I hope you all can see it, but um, yeah. That's my TV. And, um, yeah, I think that a curved TV is worth it because the curvature of the screen makes the viewing experience more um, immersive, if you will. You feel like you're more in the picture. Um, and you can sit a lot closer to the screen because the picture quality um, that it generates is so clear and sharp and crisp that. It allows you to sit closer to the TV screen. But I will say that if your room, like my living room is not that big because I'm in a three bedroom apartment. Um, so I have a 55 inch TV because I thought that, you know, a 65 inch would be like too big, like too much. Like I didn't want to feel like I was like directly in front of the TV. Um, but knowing what I know now, and when I actually seen it in my apartment, because a lot of the times things will look bigger in stores than, you know, if you was to put put it in your house. Like like when I bought um, this couch, um, the sectional, it looked bigger inside of the store than when I put it in my apartment. But I digress. <laughs> what I was basically trying to say is um, I believe that anything underneath... Uh, 65 inches is not worth it when you are trying to get a curved TV unless you are going to put the TV in like a small area like for example if you have a bedroom with a, um, a sitting area inside it if you're gonna put the TV within the sitting area and you're gonna put like a couch in the sitting area or whatever then a 55 inch might be good for you but if you want to like put your um, TV in the living room then I would say get a 65 inch because when it, when when you want when you're getting a curved TV, the largest uh, you can get, the better because I feel like the bigger the TV when the screen is curved, the more um, the more you feel like you know you're actually 
the Curve TV is doing what it's supposed to. You, the more you feel like you're, the more enjoyable the viewing experience. <sighs> it took so long for me to get that out. <laughs> but yeah, um, I bought my TV from a store down here in the Virginia area. I don't know if you guys have it, but the store is called um, HH Greg. And it's basically like a knockoff Best Buy um, or Circuit City, if you remember back that far. Um, but I bought my TV from there, and when I bought my TV, I bought it in a bundle package. And it, let me show you it again. Um, it's uh, if you look below the TV, you will see um, a sound bar, and then to the right of the TV, or maybe to you guys' left, you will see a um, subwoofer on the floor. So I bought the subwoofer, I bought the sound bar, and I bought the TV all together. And I think I spent, I think that was like 2200 like 2200 something or whatever, um, which is a lot. But um, I like the, uh, I like the stuff that it came with. I mean, because at the time I had a surround sound um, in my room or in my living room. And it was too much because my mom is disabled and she stays with me, for those of you who don't know. And a lot of the times, when when you turn the TV on, everything will turn on. So if you turn the TV on, the cable will come on, the sound bar will come on, the um, the subwoofer will, like, everything will come on. So when I had um, the surround sound in here, when she would turn the TV on, it would make the surround sound come on, too. And sometimes it would play, like, really, really loud, and my mom don't know how to she she don't know how to like turn it down or whatever so a lot of the times i'd have to run out of my room and run in the living room and turn the tv down or whatever because it's too loud so that was too much <laughs> so um i i bought the bundle um at hh greg and now i think they sell this same uh tv at best buy for i think it's like fifteen hundred dollars but um yeah i'm probably no the one that I want to get, the next one that I want to get, because I'm going to put this one in my room when I move, and I'm going to get a 65 inch, and the 65 inch is um, $1,500. So, yeah, um, once again, to sum everything up, I think that uh, Curve TV is worth it, um, but when you when you get it, you just have to make sure that you uh, are getting it, and you just have to look at the area. Um, if you If your living room is, like, bigger, I would say go and get like a large size like 65 and up if you're trying to get it for like a smaller area like um your bedroom or something like that i would say a 55 inch would be good but um yeah just know that if you get uh once you go over 55 inches it's you're gonna start getting up to the two thousand dollar you know range and 